Hey there creators, Nev here, and this is the fourth week of Inktober. I think that's right, yeah. <laughs> um, so this week I decided um, I was going to go much easier than last week, because last week I did like crazy, um, you know, <laughs> like big pieces, double page pieces, and uh, yeah, I was not going to do that this week, and I was actually pretty lazy this week. <laughs> Um, so I just kind of did individual little drawings and, um, but I did make sure that each, um, each, uh, each drawing <laughs> was, uh, done with ink tents and that's actually what I'm using right here. So what I did on this day was I decided to, um, I wanted to do art supplies, uh, but that turned into kind of this surreal like image <laughs> and um so basically uh someone painting uh, a tree but it's coming out of the picture and then um i wasn't sure what i wanted to do for the uh for the leaves and things like that so i ended up just going full like rainbow drippy rainbow <laughs> drippy rainbow yeah the drippy rainbow tree <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Um, yeah, but it was a lot of fun, and uh, I really liked the way these more simple uh, drawings this week turned out. And, of course, Ink Tense is always fun. <laughs> So on day 22 here, I decided I really want to do, wanted to do something um, with octopus tentacles and I didn't really know what. And uh, surprisingly, I drew a person. And um, if you have uh, followed me at all or uh, uh, have watched some of my other videos, you know that I'm not much for drawing people. I don't really draw people very often. And... Um, but I just sort of had the urge to draw a person. <laughs> and I, it, this person's kind of like gender neutral, really androgynous. I, it could be male or female, really. Um, yeah, but I, I had this idea of uh, his or her uh, hair uh, like turning into octopus tentacles and just uh, kind of going along with that uh, surreal sort of <laughs> feeling from the previous picture and then um after once i started doing the ink tense um i just i really liked the way the person's hair was turning out so um it was it was looking very galaxy e <laughs> and you know me i love galaxy uh, motifs so um i thought oh that would be an awesome interesting element to this octopus person <laughs> having their hair at the top being like this space galaxy thing and then the tentacles <laughs> uh, the the hair that turns into tentacles being yeah just interesting and cool and uh, I did a lot of splatters and uh, um, colors going off every which way drippy colors I was trying to um, continue that as well and yeah turned out pretty cool I'm pretty happy with it <laughs> So on days uh, 23 and 24 here, uh, I decided to do flowers, and uh, that was something that I hadn't done yet in this uh, Inktober. Um, and it was also because I didn't really have, I couldn't think of anything <laughs> to draw. And I had really planned out um, kind of the general theme of what I was going to do uh, well ahead of time for uh, the first three weeks. Uh, but I really didn't plan anything for the fourth <laughs> week. So, um, yeah, so I, it was like 
now's a good time to do some flowers, you know. And this was really fun. I did, uh, this one's a uh, stargazer lily, which is one of my favorite flowers. And yeah, it turned out really pretty. <laughs> As I was doing the uh, background for this one, uh, it was starting to look uh, a bit more and more tropical. <laughs> so it was almost like it, it was like... Uh, um, those flowers in Hawaii and actually I, I lived in Hawaii for a little bit and for lo the life of me I can't think of the name of the flowers but just it made me think of a really tropical flower um, at the end of this and yeah So here I sort of, um, I was just kind of going, f doing a flower from imagination basically. I was kind of going rose-like, but it was kind of more carnation-y. <laughs> I don't know, they're just made up flowers. You know? <laughs> made up flowers that kind of look like carnations, but the leaves are a bit more like roses and <laughs> yeah. And I thought uh, pretty orange flowers would look nice to next to that uh, um, pink stargazer lily and uh, yeah and I went with a nice uh, blue background and my husband just came home I just heard the garage open <laughs> also I'm sorry if you're hearing a lot of loud noises uh, my kids are running around upstairs <laughs> and making some really loud noises but you know such is life So on day 25 here, um, what this is, uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this, but uh, this is a Diwali candle or a Diwali candle. Um, and that is, um, it's uh, on uh, October 19th was Diwali, which is a Hindu, the Hindu festival of lights. And uh, yeah, and I just kind of wanted to honor that. Um, I incorporate a lot of uh Hindu spirituality into my spirituality <laughs> and Bridget's here helping me I, as you can see <laughs> but um, yeah and I know like this kind of turned out looking like a boat on water <laughs> but it, it was a, a candle is and they that's what those uh, traditional Diwali candles look like and yeah and this was really fun and just I was being very loose with this one um, kind of not having a care in the world as I was um, doing this one, yeah. <laughs> also, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, I had already inked uh, this one and the next one actually. And um, sorry I didn't get that uh, on camera. I just, um, I maybe I didn't realize I was recording or I don't know. <laughs> I don't have footage of me actually doing the inking part on both pages. And I did both of them at the same time because I actually did both these pages at the same time. Um, yeah, it was mostly because I was uh, slacking off and um, getting behind and not having, uh, not doing every day, every drawing every day. So some of them I kind of did in two days in a row. <laughs> And finally we have a, an om in a lotus and uh, yeah just to go along with the previous uh, picture and as uh, you can tell and if you would seen the other uh, Inktober videos uh, you would know that um, every uh, on every double page I'm trying to get them to go together so that when you look through the pages um, they all seem to melt like 
as you turn the page, uh, the two drawings that you see kind of go together. <laughs> and of course, last week, all of them definitely went together because it was all two pages. <laughs> but, yeah, but um, yeah, I thought a real nice, pretty like chartreuse background would be nice with a, a pretty purpley pink uh, lotus. And and then I did use a lot of my uh, gold and metallic. Oh, and I'm drawing that here, <laughs> but and touching up the. Uh, previous page <laughs> but I used a uh, on the alm one I used a lot of uh, metallic uh, markers and yeah um, it, it doesn't really translate in the picture but in person it looks kind of cool and neat <laughs> so yeah well we're getting near the end here and um, yeah thanks so much for sticking around uh, sorry today was or this week wasn't as exciting as last week's but you know I think uh, a lot of these turned out pretty cool so um, thanks for watching later creators bye